It's another beautiful Monday. I'm JT. I'm Ashanti. This is your Rainbow Roundup. Rainbow Wahine Soccer wrapped up their final home matches of the regular season over the weekend. On Thursday, the Wahine captured the win over UC Santa Barbara 1-0. UH's assist leader, Kate Sheehan, had herself a weekend as she earned her second goal of the season, breaking the scoreless tie in the second half of the match. Yesterday, the Bulls hosted Cal Poly on senior night. She had scored another goal with an assist by senior Fabiola Zamora. However, the Bulls fell short in the second half, 2-1. Regardless of Sunday's outcome, for only the second time in school history, the first being in 2019, the Rainbow Wahine have made it to the Big West Championships Tournament. Now the question is, where will they be seated? The Rainbow Wahine will play their final road game in California as they take on Long Beach State on Thursday at 4 p.m. Hawaii time. It was a dominating week for Rainbow Wahine Volleyball that started in California on Tuesday against UC Davis, followed by a rout against UC Riverside on Saturday at home. The Bows came out hot against UC Davis with a sweep and did the same against UC Riverside, moving their all-time record against the Highlanders to 32-0. Amber Igidi continues her incredible play, racking up 30 kills and 5 blocks on the week. UH looks to continue their stellar play this week in California against CSUN on Friday at 3 p.m. Hawaii time and then CSU Bakersfield on Saturday at 1 p.m. Hawaii time. It's that time of year again. Basketball is back in session. Men's basketball held an exhibition game raising money for Maui against nationally ranked St. Mary's. The game ended in a loss, but the team is looking bright. With November 14th circled on your calendar for the team's official season at 7 p.m. Hawaii time against UH Hilo. The men and women's tennis team were busy over the weekend competing in the ITA regionals. Over in Malibu, California, the men's tennis team competed in both singles and doubles matches. Unfortunately, both the UH's pairs fell in the doubles by a break in a few matches. However, in singles, Andrew Somerville put up quite a performance against UC Riverside, but fell short in the third set super tiebreaker. In San Diego, the Wahine tennis team won three of their six matches. Nicola Homolakova swept her opponent in straight sets. Anna Vilsek and Sheena Masuda also captured victories, winning their matches by third set super tiebreakers. Both tennis teams will return home as the Wahine will take a week off before hosting the Rainbow Wahine Fall Invitational and the men will wrap up their second part in the UH HPU Invitational next weekend. Don't forget this Friday at 5.30 is the annual UH Tennis Fan Fest complete with food trucks, skills challenges, and autograph sessions. Rainbow Warrior football traveled to Albuquerque where they fell to New Mexico. The fast start by the Lobos was too much for UH to come back from with a final score of 42 to 21. Ride receiver Stephen McBride had a standout performance, picking up 75 yards and two touchdowns on five receptions. The Bulls are looking to bounce back this Saturday at homecoming against San Jose State at 6 p.m. Hawaii time. Thanks for tuning in. This has been your... Oh. <laughs> Rainbow, Rainbow Roundup. Round so why did you mess up this one again? I didn't mess up. She messed up You messed everything. up. You can't spin. Oh, okay.